Hi, it's Peter Carney from My Food Garden. This short movie is about how to use string on a climbing frame to mount cucumbers and climbing beans. So first of all we start off with star pickets put into a garden bed and then we have string and see we have a star picket at the other end there which is about five meters away so this bed has kale in it which is finishing off and down here we have a cucumber you see here's a cucumber and see right down the bottom here we have the string and the string is tied in a little knot around the base and then as the plant grows it's twirled manually around the string and you see how the tendrils are catching onto it so so what will happen is this plant will continue up the string until it gets to here this string is tied on with a simple knot on here and the plant will go up the string and then it will go along and it will hang off the string so the beauty of this process is that it's really low tech and you can grow plants underneath it so see what I've done is I've I pull the foliage of the cucumber off as it's climbing and I have one box growing underneath it they're growing really well and so here we have a another example of it and these plants are much more mature there's these beans so look at this bean here this is a climbing bean so see right here is the string see there there's a bean so let's go up here look at the plants look at the beans so many beans on this plant keep going up here and then here's the plant and it's going all along here all those flowers we've already harvested kilos of beans off here so with the beans it's actually a lot easier than the cucumber because the beans will curl this uh, climbing bean it just curls up the string see here you've got the string here now I didn't do any of that I just got it started down here and twirled it a bit and the plant did the rest of it so easy and so here again with this principle of planting underneath the beans because we're now in a warm time of the year I've got lettuces on either side so this is quite a narrow bed here it's only about 60 centimeters wide so I have the beans in the middle and I have the the leafy crops underneath and they get shaded uh, by the you know the the kale just here and the beans as they're climbing up super efficient way to use space very low resources in this case with this bed I actually have three star pickets instead of two and I think with the cucumbers here which are much heavier fruits than beans I'm going to have to put another star picket in the middle to support uh, those crops as they grow so you can also do this with tomatoes as well and I don't have tomatoes in this bed but principles the same wait until the plant has reached a reasonably solid size I mean say with a, a tomato seedling it might be about 20 25 centimeters high because you don't want the if it starts to get windy you don't want it to get pulled out of the ground um, and so you tie the string around the base and and then you twirl the uh, twirl the string up just as I described with the cucumber but you break the branches off as it goes up because you want to create a main stalk so that um, you know you you're strengthening that middle stalk and that will keep twirling up then that will spread along the string and I think it's really important to have you know in a say this is a, as I said a five meter span to have two star pickets really firmly in and this is really just 
fairly basic twine and then this is a thinner twine which is really really strong so it's quite surprising you say oh that's a bit fragile but it takes an enormous amount of weight so the plant is climbing on itself so yeah that's um, some easy to use tips from Peter Carney at my food garden um, dot com dot au try coming along to one of our workshops and I'll teach you lots of other tricks too Thank you.